Hello everyone. Okay, welcome to Open House for the Python. My name is Mustafa, and I am teaching Python and the and the Python with data science uh, in momentum learning for more than a year. I will summarize everything today to you. Uh, first, I will I will mention about uh, the path and how you can proceed and what are the possible uh, tracks you can follow. We will start from there and I will explain how we cover which tools we are using and how you will how you will guys proceed. Okay, let's start. Okay, the very first part is the very first part is what is gonna be how you can how you can choose your track. Our very first course is Python 101A and then B. And right after then you have two options. You can go with the Python 201A. So this is this part is for the for the introduction to data science. Basically, we covered like NumPy and then pandas and some Jupyter Lab functions and and how you can utilize the the Jupyter Lab. Right after the introduction to data science, if you want to go further and then you can continue with the machine learning part. So this is this is the part for the advanced part. So again, we have three stages. The, the very first stage is the, the beginner level and then intermediate level and the advanced level. Also, um, we, have a, we have a core course about, uh, about the uh, web development, like a, like a first steps for the, for the web development, HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, and a little bit JavaScript. Uh, in fact, not a little bit, <laughs> it's, it's a concentrated uh, course. So you can have as extra response to web design. Okay, PUI 103, you can have that one as well. And for the intermediate part, you can have Python web application development um, using Django or Flask, both of them is fine. Also, another one is web, web scraping, how you can retrieve data from the, from the internet. So this is also another topic, okay. Uh, I will show you the tools and again, how we cover and the uh, uh, assignments, etc. everything will be covered today. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, so for the, for the, so it's supposed to be two, my bad. Okay, um, it's gonna be uh, the, the, for the beginners, if you don't have any background, we start with the um, Python, introduction to Python, 101A and we cover uh, Python with Turtle here. And for the second semester, for the 101B, immediately we start uh, for Python. So we don't use uh, we don't use any uh, Python with Turtle anymore. And let me show you how we can proceed and which IDE we are using. Uh, so what we covered. What we uh, you will have access to to uh, coding rooms, and this is our editor. We proceed here. I will show you. Yeah, some. Okay, like this one. Okay. So this is from the summer camp. We are using this one. Yeah, so this is one of the <laughs> one of the code. You will have access to those code for lifetime. So you can have the codes forever, okay? Maybe what is the last one we just finished? Yeah, so um, so this is the, uh, the Python uh, with turtle. We are moving that turtle. So this is one of the first class and you can see a lot of codes here. They are just commented. And I can show you guys other, other projects we already covered. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Like day three maybe. And you will see most of them, they are just, yeah. They are just uh, commented, let me check. So only the last one, yeah. So for instance, this is one of the things we covered for the for the Python with Turtle. And the, the, the main idea, 
and to draw those lines is understanding how computer works and how the things work, okay? Um, all the codes, again, you will have access to all codes and we will code together and we have a, we have a challenging part as well. Like I, I, I show you the, the, the question and you guys, you are challenging it if you, if you solve, so you will be able to, yeah, so you are allowed to sh uh, share your screen and then you can show your work to your friends. Okay, so second environment. The second environment is gonna be calling rooms. Okay, so you will have, we will have a, uh, we will have a class here. And uh, let me show you the, the previous classes as well. So, because fall 2022 is not here yet, okay? So for instance, the, this one, let's say, okay? And here you can see the, you can see everything here, uh, like a week one, week two, whatever we had, uh, all the, all the uh, recordings, you can access the, the webinar recordings and you can access the slides. Everything will be posted here. And uh, also um, your homeworks, they will be published here. So you can you can turn it in your uh, your uh, assignments and I can grade them. Uh, again, all the codes, all right? Like what we have code during the, uh, uh, the during the uh, the training, okay, the classes they will be published here, and you can access everything from here. And also, you can see right here, week two, uh, the REPL codes, everything they will be published here, okay. Every single day, you can access, all right. Again, we have two separate, um, we have two separate. Uh, environments. First one is the the, the REPL.IT. It's online IDE. Uh, I love it. I like it because you can access your files virtually everywhere in the world. As long as you have access to the internet, you are good to go. Uh, so what else I can mention about it? Uh, beside this one, let's see. Okay. What are the Python 101 uh, topics? Okay. First, uh, we are starting with the, with the what is computer and what is computer programming and how the things work like very basics and immediately we start with the drawing with turtle and using turtle and variables again that turtle thing you can think of as like a robot okay there is no difference instead of some like a like a robot car or I don't know some moving real object we have moving turtle on on your screen it's exactly the same. That way you can learn how the, the loops work, how the control structure works, and how you can write your own functions, and how you can uh, how you can track the, the the instructions sequence, et cetera. So that will that's a really good start, and it's super visual. You can see what you did immediately. So that's a really good for you guys. And uh, let's see what else we have. Um, yes. And uh, uh, we, we will draw more and more complex uh, shapes. Again, ultimate goal is not drawing those complicated shapes. The ultimate goal here for the for the Python with Turtle is understanding how computer works. So our ultimate goal is computational thinking with the I mean for for Python with Turtle course. Okay, let's see. Yes. Oh, okay, so this is for the data science. It's all right. Okay. So the question can be like, uh, what is Python and why Python? And the second question, mo most probably, right? Okay, so first off, um, there's a huge trend on the on the Python and demand is growing each day. And uh, so you can you can implement your web applications. There's a one of the possibilities. You can have console programming and uh, scripting. You can use as a scripting language. You can use as data analysis tools. You can use for a lot of like automation tool uh, and um, some some uh, the robotic projects. You can use Python. So there is a huge uh, 
uh, huge application area for the Python. There's a lot of rooms to grow for the Python. Let's see. Okay, so another thing is why we start with the Python. Yeah, so this is the growth of the Python for the 2021, you can see here. And here, um, the, the red one is Python, and the, the green one is the, the Java. It's fluctuating, but it's still high, right? And uh, the purple one is C++, and obviously the other one is PHP. It's decreasing. And uh, you can see the C sharp, it's also fluctuating, but it, for the Python, it's pretty remarkable. So it, there's a huge demand on Python. Okay, um, also this is not the only way, only reason. So I'm teaching, I'm teaching more, more than 20 years. So what I observed is, as a starting point, Python is an excellent, is, it's an excellent tool because it's really close to English language. So you will not struggle with the, with the syntax or um, other rules, instead of struggling, instead of uh, dealing with those problems, the students can focus on algorithms because the syntax and the whole structure is very close to English and it's pretty straightforward. That's, that's for me, that's number one reason to start with Python. Of course, you can switch to another programming language anytime you want, it's all right because after all, they are all programming languages, okay? Let's see. All right. So of course, another question will be, what will you learn like at the end of the 101A and 101B, right? Again, <laughs> I, I don't wanna mention about like a coding thing because for me, it's not just coding. This is my opinion. Um, even if you are not going to be like a coder or, or software engineer, whatever it is, ugly truth is, unfortunately, it is ugly truth. You are going to need to code in your life in the future anyway. So it, it, you don't need to be like a, like a super uh, vision guy. So it's, it's obvious these days. Uh, so final ultimate goal for these courses are how computer work computational thinking and the, the the coding world, I will introduce you and you can go for it or you can walk as extra mile, it's all up to you. Another part really important for me is solving problems by the machinery. So I wanna explain that part. Okay, let's think about like a broom, right? Um, so if, I mean, back in days, we have a tool, it's a broom and you can broom the, the, the room, right? But the, the, the machine solution is not like that. The machine solution is not moving broom, right? It's a vacuum cleaner. So it's, it's working totally different. Machine has its own way. So I do really value that part. I will focus specifically that part, how you can solve the problems by using the machines or what is the machine, okay? Maybe I can explain that way. We have a problem and how I can convert to the machine language that problem. So that's the, that's the important part, I believe. And for the, for the upcoming courses, you will learn uh, the fundamentals of data science. We are not talking about the, the code here, uh, really, really fundamentals of the, uh, the statistics like minimum, maximum, average, and median mode, that kind of stuff. And a little bit like uh, standard deviation, not too much, but you know, enough amount because um, we will not cover like normal distributions, etc. cetera. And uh, if you want to, I mean, if you decided to go even further also, the, the web applications and the, the Python frameworks, we will focus on that part as well. Let's see. Yeah, so what are the critical Python skills? Okay, first you need to start to, to like a cracking the code. I mean, literally basics, you, you need to start from here. And if you don't have basic coding 
skill, then you cannot build anything on it, all right? So first you need a foundation to build a house. Okay, so the foundation is the basic of coding. Definitely we'll start from there. And so what else you can do like a web application development? All right, mobile application development, it is possible. Game development, there are, there are options, there are room to grow for the, for the game development. Data analytics, web scraping, text mining, it is possible. And network socket programming and the robot programming. I believe you, most of you guys, you heard about uh, a lot of like a, like a robotic uh, competitions, etc. cetera. Um, but some of them, they are on Python. Okay, let's see. Yes, um, the, the, what, are the, what are the projects? Um, for the for the courses for the classes we have all the time uh, the projects and the and and the homeworks okay and and the small exercises we are starting with the small steps and we are uh, we are walking and then running so you cannot run immediately first small steps walk and run so this is our approach number guessing game so it's not mentioned here like a memory game uh, yeah so Battleship, yes, and Tic Tac Toe, uh, the personal calculator. We have even more uh, the projects, uh, like a like an inventory uh, tracking. That kind of projects we have as well. And for the this is a little bit soon to to mention about the data analytics part, but restaurant tip analysis and like uh, Seattle bike sharing. We have a lot of data and. Uh, University of Washington salary uh, uh, the the um, uh, analysis etc. We have a lot of we have a lot of uh, projects we are implementing during the classes. And uh, if you decided to go with the with the web application, uh, so like a pet store app web application, or you can you can have any kind of web application. So right. And the, the rest of the and the projects they are on the uh, on the on the data analytics part. I mean the second part of the Python part. Okay, let me check here. Yeah, so what are the, those things? Those are the um, those are the things they are included in the Python. Like um, the Django is a is a web framework. And uh, Flask also as well, and uh, the NumPy is it's it's powered by the C programming language, and it is part of the data analytics or data science tool. We have Pandas again for the data analytics to analyze the data and the tables, and uh, <laughs> you can have a lot of things with the Python. Uh, again, the starting point is the coding. We can start from the coding part. Okay, uh, I summarized everything, how we cover and where do we do we publish uh, the, uh, the slides, right? All documentation and web recordings, homeworks, our codes, everything they are gonna be uh, on the coding rooms. You will have access and you, your access is gonna be lifetime, okay? Now you can shoot your questions. Any question? You can unmute yourself if you will. If you need to to share your screen, definitely you can share your screen. All right. Nobody has question. So this class is for like a students of fifth grade or sixth grade or above. Yes. If I mean the so the first part. Python 101 is for the students with no background. We are starting from the zero. I mean, we are starting from scratch. We assume student doesn't have any background and we are teaching from, from, the, from the scratch, from the beginning. So for the, for the upcoming year, student can have the second part of the Python. It's a sequential 
uh, it's a SQL course, like the first part of the Python and the second part of the Python. Okay, so would you like to see a demo? Like I can show you here um, how we cover. Yes. Yeah, so during the class, you see the screen that way. So this, the, the code is gonna be pretty, um, they're pretty big. And I am not coming with the pre-written code, by the way, okay? I I never do that. So we are coding from scratch all together and like explaining one by one. Um, so like here, what we did, I can, I can explain real fast. So we are deciding speed of the turtle. And here we have a loop, but again, we are not covering this way. We are doing from the scratch, okay? Um, let's do it here. Now um, we are gonna draw some circles, okay? So I'm assuming we had a lot of classes with you guys, all right? And let's see. All right. Okay, so the, the final goal is I want to draw some circles with the I want to do something like that okay all right so what is the first part how can I draw the, the circle analysis part right really important I can draw those circles with turtle dot circle Okay. All right, some number like, I don't know, like the 60. And of course, we have some angle between them. All right, so we have 360 for the whole, right? So I need to decide how many circles I need. Let's say I need 10 circles, okay, 10 circles. And that means 360 divided by 10, then 36 degree. So I need to turn the total 36 degree, and then I can draw another circle, right? Okay, let's see, let's try. Again, I'm assuming we, we had a class before, okay? So we are covering this way. First, we have a question, analysis of the question, and the, the solution for the question, especially indeed solutions for the question, and then we are picking up the best solution, okay? Let's see. Uh, all right, so first off, how many circles I need? So I need, uh, I need 10 of them, right? Okay. All right. I need 10 circle and obviously I can turtle circle. Let's say each of them is gonna be 100 of them. Okay. Um, but the thing is right after I, I draw a circle, I need to rotate it right so we did already the the mat right i can turn to the right it's supposed to be okay all right all right let's see the result okay oh wow it looks like it's a success right How many circles we are in a row? 10. And that's so cool. Okay. That is so cool. Like so that's the all right. So I can switch back to here. Okay. So that's uh that was like a glimpse of the of the courses, how they recover. Of course, you will have uh you will have a dedicated time to solve the questions yourself because if I solve all questions. 
it's, that would be pretty boring of a course that no one wants and then uh, it doesn't that there is no contribution for you definitely you will have a dedicated time to to solve the questions okay all right any questions so far Ooh. that's all from my side i believe i explained pretty much everything how we proceed and what are you going to get the, the code slides recording everything it's going to be like a for lifetime you can you will have access for lifetime okay so thank you for participating looking forward to start a new semester if you don't have further question okay this is all my words um you guys have a great uh, weekend and uh, looking forward to see you guys okay so question thank who you. raised the hand okay kfc shoot your question so um for the for the like the coding rooms mm -hmm. like there there when i got in it says mm -hmm. the classroom code so yes I, yeah, yes, so, I will provide the, the classroom code and you can join the, the classroom with that code. Okay. Really nice. You are really fast. <laughs> also, like uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm about to leave for another class. So can I like leave? Of course, I can remove remove from your class. No problem. Okay. Or you can, you can be you can be in in the in the another uh, classroom at the same time. That's also fine. Okay, so I just need the class code. Oh no, so I did I did not create the, the class code yet. Do you offer class in weekday? Um, so I need to talk with the Ted first. Uh, the weekday class for the weekday class so to my knowledge we don't have right now um but i need to talk with the, the ted first make sense yeah so if if there is a there is enough i mean the, the, we have a we have a question on the chat i believe if there is enough demand definitely ted, ted will open the oh i couldn't understand the question there's this guy with the Roblox background. He he keeps talking and interrupting. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. All right. Any other questions? I had the so. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Then I mean, of course, you can shoot the questions. I'm checking chat everywhere. Okay. Bye. Bye. Looking forward to see you guys. I have a question. Uh, okay, shoot your question, please. Um, do 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 we have to start with the introduction? Uh, no, I mean, um, if you feel you have a background, I, I highly recommend the, the, the data science part um, because again, we are starting from the scratch, like literally scratch how you can how you can write the codes, uh, the uh, the naming convention, naming rules, etc. How you can name the variable from from really scratch. We are starting from zero. If you have a background, I believe you can you can do with the with the second part of the Python, which uh, which it's uh, okay. yeah, and which which it's with the NumPy and the pandas. Uh, so I will have another another open house at 3 p.m central time you can join over there and i can show what we are doing for the for the data science part if intro, it is okay intro for you. to data science right that's right ma'am okay introduction to data science you can see over there and you can decide but then how do i know if the kids already know the basic coding and uh those ba basic things if you ask them, they will say, yeah, I know. You know, it, how, how do I, I know? I understand. I at the right level. Okay. Um, maybe I can send some assessment, like a simple assessment, and I can okay. we can understand all together. Does it make sense? Yeah, I think that helps. Yeah, definitely. Just ask. How do I, how do I get an assessment? Yes. And I will write down my uh, email and it's it's on the chat right now 
um, you can you can email me and I can send you the the assessment and you can send me the the, the results. Okay.